Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 55 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to create automatic table of contents inside of Adobe InDesign. So I've created around five pages right here and I'm going to create a table of contents right here. And for that what I need to do is I'm going to uh, type in a random text right here. So I'm going to use this as my heading. So this is going to be my heading, uh, uh, tutor tube heading one, tutor tube heading one just like that and I'm gonna um, leave that for now so I'm just going to copy and paste this right here keep this on the second page as well and maybe I want to have another one over here as well similarly I want to have a subheading so over here I'm gonna have tube to tube uh, sub heading one just like that and then I'm gonna copy and paste this this is gonna be a subheading two right here uh, just over here on the section and then over here, I'm going to copy this. So I'll just hold Alt and drag it so that will actually create a copy right here. And then a copy right here, just like that. So now this is going to be subheading 1. So subheading 2 right here. And subheading 3. That's, there you go. All right. So now uh, I'm going to apply something called paragraph styles over here. So for that, I'm on my advanced tab right here. And I'm going to go into paragraph styles. So over here, I'm going to create a new style. And then I'm going to uh, um, uh, change the style right here. So on the basic character, I'm going to increase the size right here into 14. And then I'm going to say font style to be bold just like that. All right. So once I press that, I'm going to press OK. And over here, I'm going to select paragraph style 1 and style 1 just like that. So I can do any style as I want. So over here, I'm going to create another paragraph style. So on the paragraph style 2, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into basic character format right here. Increase the size into 2. And this is going to be Minion Pro. Just press OK and the character style is applied. I'm going to do the same over here. So th this is uh, paragraph style 2. Apply on both of them and apply on both of them as well. So I might have some text over here, something else. So I, I might ha have a regular text over here. Anyways, uh, for table of contents, I need to apply the paragraph styles. And remember that paragraph style 1 is for heading 1 and paragraph style 2 is for heading 2. I'm going to uh, rename this into... He heading one just like that and then uh, for this one I'm gonna rename this to heading two just like that and press ok so I have my paragraphs uh, heading ready so on over here I'm going to create the automatic table of contents so that is quite easy after you apply this so you can see that now this is all set as heading one and this is all set as heading two. I just got to make sure that I choose that, that in the right order in the table of contents as well. So uh, for that, I'm going to go into layout and over here you can see there's table of contents. So uh, just click on this. And what this shows is that the title should be table of contents. All right, I can type in anything. I'm just gonna type in table of contents. You can even choose a style if you have it, but I have no style, so I'm gonna just uh, select this. So over here in the style, uh, you can see that I have heading one and two. So I'm gonna add in heading one first because I want that uh, I want it to be listed first. So I'm gonna add that out. And then I got my heading two, I'm gonna add that in. So you can see that heading one is the top and heading two is will be the entry file, uh, will be the subtitle of heading one. So I'm just gonna press uh, okay right here. And you can see that now if I were to click it, I got the table of contents right there. And you can see I have the page number. I got the table of contents as heading. I got two to tube heading one, two, three, and so forth. So now I can simply style. So what I want to do is I want to style this by adding in tab. So I'm going to go into um, uh, creating tabs right here. So just go into paragraph styles. Let me find the tabs. All right. So on the type, I got tabs. And like we saw on the last lesson, I can easily work with table of contents just like this. So over here, I'm going to click and drag the content over here. This is going to be the, on the left side. Just click and drag. And you can see that it'll actually change the page number. So I'm going to drag it all the way to the right, just like that. So I can align this if I want to. And on the leader, let me just put a dot. Uh, and you can see that it'll actually create dots right here. I can even keep dashes if I want, so that'll actually result in dashes. I'm gonna keep a uh, dot on uh, all of it. So just select all of it, just like that. And on the leader, I'm gonna add in a dot, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna select all of it. 
Uh, I got this. All right. So you can see that the dot updates this like that. All right. There you go. So now I got the headings ready. I can also create some spaces. So you can uh, edit this like a usual text and give it any design you want. So on the top, I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to change this to capital. All right. So I got the table of content ready and the page number is there. But wait a minute. This is actually showing page number two. So I actually want this to start as page number one. So uh, for that, I can actually go over here and then from this section, I can simply uh, right click and go to number and section option. And over here, I'm just going to select start page numbering at one and press OK. So you can see that now this becomes page number one. And over here at the top, I can simply do this. I can simply select the page, uh, go into layout and over here you can see update table of content. So just do that and press OK. And you can see that it updates the table of content. All right. But it changes the design. So update table of contents. Um, and then you can see that the page number actually changes. Let me just um, uh, rearrange that out, all of it, and use tab. Um, over here, just use uh, type and tabs. And then I'm going to select all of the, these and then select uh, this uh, to align it to the right. And then on the leader, I'm going to press dot right here. So just like that. This is the table of contents, just like that and then press enter and then do a capital lock just like that. All right, there you go. So the page number is updated and you can see that this is all hassle free. So that is how you can uh, create automatic table of contents inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.